police was involved, everyone was just running helter skelter trying to know where are we, are we going to find this boy. Maybe I would have been handcuffed and taken to the police station because marking a student present when the student is absent is, is, is a crime, it's against the law, you know? <laughs> guys welcome back to my channel it's blessing and i am here and if you're new here you're welcome if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for stopping by and always coming back to watch my videos i am so grateful so today we'll be talking about a very important topic and as you could see from the thumbnail integrity and diligence in your workplace okay so i'll be telling a personal story and i hope you're going to learn a thing or two from it and apply it to your lives. Okay guys, so um, I was a teacher in Nigeria before I left. Yeah, and um, I taught for some years and I enjoyed every bit of teaching. You know, I love to teach. So this story is about what happened to me or what happened in my class. Before, like shortly before my wedding, a child, a student went missing in my class. Yeah. It was a senior secondary class, like SS2 class. A male student went missing in my class. I noticed the student was not around in class for like five days. And I kept marking absent, 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 absent. Nobody knew where he was. His hostel mates, his classmates, they didn't know where he was, right? Fine. I reported to my immediate boss, who was the year head, you know, and I told her there's a student in my class who has not been around and I think she told me to call the parent of the student and I I called him and I can't even remember what the father said but I just shot I know I gave feedback to the head and I told her see what's going on I've not gotten any meaningful information as far where this student is and all of a sudden the parent was you know trying to make noise you know just came up and started making noise that oh his, his child is missing and everything and everything and I was the form teacher. Everyone was on my neck. What happened? Where is the student? Blah, blah, blah. Glory be to God. I was diligent enough to always mark my register. Do you know that register saved me from losing my job? Saved me from embarrassment. Because when everyone came to my register, they saw that this child was marked absent. I didn't mark him present when he was absent. You know, and the matter went on and on, even down to Abuja, blah, 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 you know. One thing I'm grateful for is the fact that the head that I reported to, the woman is a very good woman, she did not deny me because I didn't make the report to her in writing. I made the report just verbally. You know, if it was some other person, when they see that you're getting into trouble, they'll just deny you point blank and say, hey, she didn't tell me anything. No, no that woman stood by me. And she defended me and said, yes, blessing told me. She reported to me and all that. You know, we just kept praying and trusting God that the, the, the student would be found again. And um, after much back and forth, back and forth, the police was involved. And guys, I was preparing for my wedding. That was in 2016. I was like, God, what kind of temptation is this? <laughs> so later eventually the police was involved everyone was just held you know running helter skelter trying to know where are we are we going to find this boy and later on he was found i think was he about a week or two later he was found and guys guess where this boy was found he was found in a car wash washing cars that he doesn't want to go to school again ah but he would have put me in a very big trouble so that experience taught me a very very big lesson the first lesson is that Please be diligent in your work. If you're employed to do a job, do the job to the best of your knowledge because you never can tell when a situation will come up. And just imagine if I was lackadaisical about marking my register, if I was careless about it, if I was just marking everybody present when they are not present because I'm lazy, what would have happened to me? Maybe I would have been handcuffed and taken to the police station because marking a student present when the student is absent is, is, is a crime. It's against the law, you know? <laughs> So really, that experience taught me that, see, if I'm given a job, I have to put my best into it. If I know I'm not going to put my best into it, I would rather not take the job. And that goes to everyone out there. If you're employed by anyone to do a job, don't just do eye service. Don't just try to act up when the owner of the, of the job is there or your employer or your manager. Even as a Christian... If you profess to be a Christian, you should be able to defend your job, do your job very, very well. All the places I have worked, I can look back and I don't have any regrets. 
Nobody can come out and point a finger at me and say, oh, Blessing didn't do her job. And that's why I'm posting this video here. So if you have anything against me, you can come out and tell me. <laughs> so really, on a more serious note, it pays to be diligent in your job. Even the Bible says, see it thou a man diligent in his job. He will stand before kings and not mean men, men, men. So you should be diligent in your duties. If you're employed, whatever you're doing, whatever your hand finds to do, do it with all your heart and the Lord is going to bless your work. Amen. All right. So I believe you enjoyed my story and you learned a thing or two from it. Don't be discouraged. Even if your job is not paying you what you are worth, just give it your best. Give it your best. Give it your best and keep giving it your best. One day, God is going to, you know, elevate you from that position to a better position. All right. That's all I have for this video. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you are not subscribed, please subscribe and join the family. We have so much goodies here. I cook. I make recipes. I just, we have chit chats. We do vlogs, you know, just all that good stuff. All right, guys. Till I come your way again next time. Remain blessed. Bye.